people had been smoking cigars for over a thousand years. A Mayan pot that archaeologists date back to the 10th century shows a Mayan man smoking a cigar. Cigars probably did not originate in Cuba, but Guatemala. The native people Christopher Columbus encountered in the Americas smoked twisted rolls of tobacco leaves bundled in dried palm or corn husks. Cigar smoking can be sexually stimulating in the bedroom. Even Sigmund Freud believed cigars had a sexual undertone. Cigars supposedly help reduce risk for Parkinson's disease. Cigars are known to reduce stress and some psychiatrists recommend them to patients for this reason. Before his first high altitude aeroplane flight, Winston Churchill requested the creation of an oxygen mask that would accommodate cigar smoking. The next day he was puffing away at 15,000 feet over Berlin. They even opened the cabin window so that he could flick his ash. In 1961, the CIA was ordered to place the botulism toxin into Fidel Castro's cigars, but the plan went haywire. Cigar bans? Queen Catherine the Great of Russia was a cigar smoker. To avoid having the smell on her fingers, she created the use of silk bands on cigars, which she used to hold her smokes. The original native word for tobacco was chahiba. Tobacco was what they called the pipe they smoked out of. Their word for smoking was cigar, which Europeans turned into the word cigar. A thousand tobacco seeds can fit inside a thimble. Once planted, cigar tobacco plants need approximately eight hours of sunlight each day. The best and most experienced Dominican roller can produce at least 200 cigars a day. Once, Mark Twain gave up cigars, leading to a long bout of writer's block. He resumed smoking his normal 300 cigars a month and wrote a book in three months without any distraction. Early 20th century, the capital of the American cigar market was in Cleveland, Ohio. In those days, the Cuban tobacco had to be shipped by boat to Florida and then by train to Cleveland to keep costs and labour down, all the big manufacturers began moving to Miami and Tampa, where they remain today. Prior to rolling, tobacco leaves must have a humidity level of around 80 to 95%. The taste and aroma from your cigars come from the fermentation process the tobacco has been through. A cigar humidor uses Spanish cedar and it's normally kiln-dried to stop the bleeding of sap. A properly conditioned cigar can age, develop and mature for a lifetime when kept in optimum conditions. The phrase, close but no cigar, originated in the day when the cigar was a popular carnival game prize. Cigars also dominate the Hollywood screen. Clint Eastwood smokes a cigar in A Fistful of Dollars, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator, and Tony Montana in Scarface, just to name a few. Retired professional basketball player Michael Jordan smokes cigars. Winston Churchill, as we said, avidly smoked cigars. Actors Bill Murray, Robert Downey Jr, Jack Nicholson and Robert De Niro smoked cigars in their personal lives. Sigmund Freud was an avid cigar smoker. <laughs>